and you should go into Detroit, and you should go into Philadelphia, and you should go into some of these places, Atlanta. He painted two black women as the face of voter fraud. Quick one here, I have a video of Donald Trump seemingly inciting violence as he's instructing his voters to physically march into voter booths in places where ballots are being tallied and to guard the vote. Interesting enough, all the cities that he lists needing guard it are not only overwhelmingly Democratic, but have overwhelmingly black populations. Now, if you don't see the problem with Trump inciting his mostly white voting base to physically overstep their bounds and to like bodyguard voting booths and watch people what they're doing in predominantly black areas, I guess I understand why you're a Trump supporter then because it's pretty evident. Let's watch what he has to say and then we'll dive in a little bit deeper. I think 22,000 votes separated it, and we have millions and millions of votes. It's a very sad thing. So the most important part of what's coming up is to guard the vote. And you should go into Detroit, and you should go into Philadelphia, and you should go into some of these places, Atlanta, and you should go into some of these places, and we got to watch those votes when they come in, when they're being, you know, uh, shoved around in wheelbarrows and dumped on the floor and everyone's saying what's going on. We're like a third world nation. And Trump knows exactly what he's doing. These undertones have been present since he started all of this, the way that he attacked Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss, who had to testify firsthand to what they endured at the hands of Donald Trump. He painted two black women as the face of voter fraud while contending that it happened in mostly black dominated areas. This has always been an afterthought with how ridiculous the entire claims that he's been making are and obviously untrue, but it's something that can't be forgotten or pushed to the side, and this kind of language is just outright dangerous to a base that is fueled with racism and xenophobic vitriol and has shown a willingness to be extreme, from sending pipe bombs to Democrats to the January 6th dealings as a whole. This type of language should not be allowed in front of your base, in front of this base specifically, especially when you're directing them to go to minority-dominated districts. If you enjoyed this video, we're Social Society, we're a commentary channel influenced by politics, society, and the economy. We are pretty left-leaning on this channel, but we're open to our right-wingers as well. The biggest thing here is having conversations that get everyone to the bottom of the truth. If that sounds like something that could interest you, consider smashing that subscribe button, leaving us a like, or even commenting on this video, because the only way we become a society is together.